Get ready to discover the fascinating world of farm animals like you've never seen before. In this captivating video, we'll unveil the most extraordinary and unexpected creatures that call farms their home. From sheep pigs to zaboos, be prepared to be amazed by the unique and unusual inhabitants of this farming world. Llamas it may seem counterintuitive, but it is a fact that llamas have been used in farming for literally thousands of years. These furry animals are not only cute and cuddly, but also very useful and versatile. They can carry heavy loads, provide wool and meat, and even fertilize the soil with their poop. Llamas are native to South America, where they were domesticated by the ancient civilizations of the Andes. They were especially important for the Inca Empire, which used them for transportation, trade, and ceremonies. Llamas can adapt to different altitudes and climates, and they can eat a variety of plants. They're also very social and intelligent, and they can communicate with each other through humming and body language. Llamas are still used in farming today, not only in South America, but also in other parts of the world. Some farmers use them as guard animals to protect their sheep or goats from predators. Others use them as therapy animals to help people with stress or disabilities. Barn Owls Barn owls are amazing creatures that can help farmers in many ways. They're natural predators of rodents and insects, which can damage crops and spread diseases. By eating these pests, barn owls reduce the need for chemical pesticides and traps, which can harm other animals and the environment. Barn owls can consume up to three rodents a night, and a pair of barn owls can eat more than 2,000 rodents a year. That's why some farmers install nest boxes on their barns or fields to provide shelter and nesting sites for barn owls. This way, they can attract more barn owls to their farms and increase their chances of breeding. Barn owls are also good for the ecosystem, as they help maintain a balance between predators and prey, and support biodiversity as well. Barn owls are not only beautiful and fascinating, but also very useful. Wild Boars Wild boars are used in farming for various purposes. They're not just wild animals, they're also farm animals. Boar meat is leaner, darker, and more flavorful than domestic pig meat. It's also rich in protein, iron, and vitamin B. Some farmers have crossbred wild boars and pigs to get a hybrid that has the best qualities of both. These hybrids are called Iron Age pigs, or wild pork. Other farmers use wild boars to aerate the soil and prepare it for planting. Wild boars have a natural behavior of digging or rooting the ground with their snouts and hooves. This can loosen the soil, mix organic matter, and improve drainage. They also have to fertilize the soil with their droppings and dig up roots and tubes that might otherwise rot underground. Alpacas Don't you find alpacas incredibly adorable? Alpacas are widely recognized as one of the most charming and beloved members of the Camelidae family, which also includes camels, llamas, and guanacos. With their floppy tufts, koi grins, and endearing eyes, I find myself completely captivated by these creatures. Moreover, apart from their delightful appearance, alpacas are renowned for possessing some of the softest fiber found in nature. This is precisely why they've been domesticated for much longer than sheep and cattle. Originating in South America, alpacas were initially raised for their fiber. Their popularity soared in the 1980s when they gained prominence in the U.S. Both types of alpacas, named hoikaya and suri, are bred for their fiber, which is used in the production of clothing. Hoikayas are adored for their fluffy and fleecy appearance, while suris are known for growing silky fleece. Each alpaca produces approximately 6 to 8 pounds of usable fiber per day, making them highly lucrative for fiber farming. Elk Elk, also known as wapiti, are pretty impressive creatures and belong to the deer family. While elk used to be found naturally in the northern hemisphere, these days you'll often find them being raised out on farms in North America. This trend started back in the 1960s, and now private breeders are the ones who are supplying most of the elk stock. So don't be surprised if you spot these majestic animals hanging out on farms, rather than roaming in the wild. Great thing about raising elk is that they're relatively low maintenance compared to cattle. They're not picky eaters at all, and they'll happily munch on whatever they can find, whether it's tree bark or shrubs. These magnificent creatures are primarily bred for their antlers, velvet, and meat. For centuries, antler velvet has been used in traditional Chinese medicine. When it comes to elk meat, it's gaining popularity as a healthy alternative to red meat. Many restaurants are even adding it to their menus. Additionally, these animals are also used for hunting on ranches, providing an exciting game experience for hunting enthusiasts. Emus Emus, the second largest flightless bird, may not fly, but they make up for it with their speed and powerful kicks. These agile creatures can reach speeds of up to 30 miles an hour thanks to their strong legs. Standing at about 5 feet tall and weighing around 100 pounds, emus are pretty impressive. But did you know that emus are also raised on farms? They serve two main purposes, meat production and oil production. 
Emu meat carries a higher price tag, making it an attractive option for farmers looking to turn a profit. Interestingly enough, the American Heart Association recognizes emu meat as a heart-healthy choice. It's actually been shown to lower cholesterol levels. In addition to their meat, emus are farmed for their oil. Emu oil is widely used in beauty products such as lotions, serums, face creams, and shampoos. Due to its desirable properties, emu oil is valued and can be found at a higher price point in the market. Caterpillars Turns out these intriguing creatures are actually farmed for a specific reason. They're silk. Yeah, I didn't stutter on that one. They're raised solely for their silk. Silk is a luxurious fabric that's derived from the cocoons of mulberry silkworms. After caterpillars emerge, they spend about two months munching on leaves and then proceed to spin their silk into a protective cocoon. Normally, a moth would emerge from the cocoon, but things are a bit different on silk farms. To obtain the silk, farmers apply heat to the cocoons, which unfortunately leads to the demise of the creatures inside. The heated cocoons are then boiled and treated, and the resulting strands are skillfully woven into the exquisite material known as silk. This unique process is why caterpillars are considered farm animals in the context of silk production. Snakes Snakes, often perceived as a fascinating yet slightly intimidating creature, tend to get a bad reputation. However, I personally find them intriguing and believe they deserve more appreciation. Interestingly enough, most snakes aren't even venomous. What you probably didn't know are that snakes are actually farmed on purpose. One of the primary reasons snakes are farmed is to extract their venom, which is used for medical research. Although there aren't many official snake farms, numerous private facilities keep snakes specifically to collect venom for personal research purposes and to sell to researchers. And let me tell ya, I'm pretty successful in that endeavor. Scientists highlight that snake venom is primarily studied to develop antidotes for snake bites. Additionally, there are reports suggesting that snake venom may hold potential in treating various types of cancer. These findings underline the significant value and potential benefits associated with studying snake venom. Sheep Pigs Scientifically known as mangalitsas, these rare pigs are direct descendants from wild boars and have their origin in Austria and Hungary. What sets them apart is their incredible value, with these guys being worth approximately five times more than regular pigs. Nowadays, you can occasionally spot these remarkable creatures on farms where they're raised for their wool and their meat. The nickname Sheep Pig suits them well due to their woolly coats, which draw comparison to sheep. Interestingly, it's their hair fleece that allows mangalisas to thrive outdoors throughout the year. They've adapted to survive on a diet mainly consisting of potatoes and pumpkins, which keeps them content and healthy. While they may not be the most popular pig breed globally, many people take pleasure in raising these furry pigs on their farms. Worms while they may not be the most glamorous farm animals, it is quite fascinating to learn that worms are actually farmed. Pretty unbelievable, actually. Worms play a crucial role in breaking down compost and enriching the soil with valuable nutrients, making them a valuable asset for farmers. Additionally, worms are highly sought after as a food source for birds and fish, which has led some individuals to acquire them specifically for their pets. So that's the reason behind the existence of worm farms. Humble creatures are appreciated for their contribution to agriculture and as a convenient food option for certain pets. Zebus. Zebus, one of the oldest cattle breeds worldwide, are truly captivating creatures that surprisingly have a common presence on farms. With 75 different species varying in size, color, and habits, these animals are a diverse group. Unlike traditional cows and cattle, zebus thrive in tropical rainforests and can also be found in open plains. Originally from South Asia, zebus have adapted to survive in hot and humid environments, leading to the introduction in tropical parts of Africa and South America. Today, domesticated zebus can be found on farms around the globe. Farmers highly value zebus as versatile animals that provide meat, dairy, and are capable of crossbreeding with cows and other breeds. Moreover, these remarkable and robust creatures have notably long lifespans. Intriguingly, zebus exhibit high resistance to viruses and parasites, making them a preferred choice amongst farmers. They also possess the ability to crossbreed with other cattle species. This often results in zebus created by mixing with yaks, guars, and bontangs. Water Buffalo Water buffalo serve three essential functions on a farm. Draft animal training, dairy production, and meat production. These remarkable animals surpass beef cattle in efficiency thanks to their highly adaptable digestion systems. They exhibit resistance to parasites, thrive on various levels of forage quality, and boast an impressive lifespan of up to 25 years. Female buffaloes experience minimal complications during calving, making the process smoother as well. What's more, these animals can be halter trained from a young age, adding to their versatility. 
While undeniably intriguing, owning this farm animal comes with a significant expense. Water buffaloes are quite pricey, costing thousands of dollars. Additionally, their large size and weight necessitate specialized farm equipment like heavy-duty water containers, feeders, and corral panels. Experts describe water buffaloes as highly intelligent creatures. Some even suggest that they spend their days concocting schemes to outsmart their human owners. Certainly does add an element of fun and excitement to their relationship. See you all next time!